Hey everybody, it's Peter Kappas, and I want to give you a quick tutorial for setting up your environment to do basic behavior-driven development, or BDD, and test automation in general. There are more sophisticated ways to do this out there, but this method will get you up and running in just a few clicks, and then you can start experimenting and understanding the fundamentals of BDD. We're going to be using Docker containers to simplify the setup with a standalone Selenium Chrome container for our browser and another container to run our Ruby and our Capybara, and all the code will be hosted locally with a mounted folder into our Ruby container. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Uh, I'll assume that you have Docker installed and a basic knowledge of how it works, so I'm not going to go into that, uh, as well as some idea of the fundamentals of BDD. So if you need to read up on any of those things first, please do so. Otherwise, if you're ready, let's dive in. Okay, here's a very quick version of how to do this. I'm going to go to this repo and grab the URL. I'm going to clone that into a new folder through my terminal. And then as soon as that's done, I'm just going to CD into that terminal and let's go back to our readme so the first thing we need to do is download and run the selenium standalone chrome container with this command i'm mapping in the control port for selenium and the vnc port so we can actually look at the thing let's go ahead and look at it now so i'm going to open up vnc and i'm looking at a blank ubuntu desktop inside that container great everything's ready let's go to the next step which is to build the ruby test container so we'll go ahead and do that. Now I've already done this, so it's very fast, but it might take you a few minutes the first time. Now I'm going to run this Ruby container that has all of our gems in it and everything we need in order to run Selenium. Now I'm inside the container, and I'm just going to run Cucumber. And as I do that, I'm going to pull open the VNC session. So you can see it's starting the browser. It's searching for puppies, and it's trying to find the word dog. And in that case, it happens, so everything passes. We're done. Now let's back up and just look at uh, exactly what we've done here. Uh, if you want to open a new tab here, going back to the host, and I'm going to open up Atom, which is the editor that I like to use, but you can use anything you like. There are a few files that are worth looking at in here. One of them is the environment. This is where the magic happens to tie things into the various Docker containers. The main thing to note here is the application URL, the app host. So this is the URL that you're going to use for testing your application. I'm using Google, but obviously you change this to whatever you want to test. We have a feature file that describes the feature we're testing. It has two steps in here. When I search for puppies, then I should see dog. Inside of our step definitions file, we've got basic steps and search steps. Um, the search for step is defined here. You can see I'm going to the home page. I'm filling in the drop down or the field called LST IB with the string that we captured from the step. And then I'm going to click on Google search. There are actually two Google search buttons on the page at that time, so I want to match the first one. Otherwise, it'll complain that it doesn't know which one to, to hit. Uh, I've also included this basic steps file in here, which has a whole lot of steps that I use for various things uh, around clicking on links and traveling through time and seeing things in specific CSS classes and other useful stuff that you might find handy. So that's basically it. Uh, if you'd like any more detail or uh, if you have other ideas for how to do this, please drop me a line uh, or leave a comment below and I'd love to find out what you think. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.